It's done a lot of like it, it's made a lot of things more convenient, which is definitely a good thing. Pokemon centers are a little bit cozier than they used to be. I'm going to hold on to that for now. Yeah, this is more the Game Freak map, map design. Whoops. But, like, for example, one thing that I really like is the barkeep here. He is the name raider. He is the memory checker, if, for how much you care about that. He's also the movement member and the move deleter. And he doesn't require payment for any of it. That is one of the most amazing changes I can name. Okay. Let's get back to where I was. I want to get another uh, Bronzong real quick. I think games absolutely qualify as art. Okay, I don't need that live hard. What do we got out here? Stunky, Bunnelby. Not all art is high art. That's something that needs to be remembered. Not all art is created equally. Come on, you. Come on. Attack me. Thank you. Like, that's the thing. Like, I would, like, say that something like Journey, for example, is gonna be, uh, you know, like, art art, whereas something Orokami might be a higher level art, whereas something like Madden might be more like what you would, your child would make and you'd put on, of course you would teleport, you, of course you would, jerk. Madden might be something your child makes that you put onto the fridge door. You know, hey, you did a decent job. This is not amazing, but, oh, you know, you, you tried, you know? Not all art is created equally. Yes, that's a Thunderstone. Yeah, Madden might be something you buy at, you know, Walmart. Wow, there's a Corviknight. Oh, hey, Beacon Bolt. That's convenient. What level are you? Okay. Line Guide. Get out here. I, I enjoy the fact that I'm not going to have to evolve that uh, Charger Bug. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know. I've seen AAA games that are not... Like, that I, that I wouldn't consider to be just a Walmart art piece. Damn it! Annoying. Like, while I don't think that this Pokemon game, you know, is going to be a museum art piece, you know, level, I do think it has pushed itself out of Walmart level. I haven't been following games at all. Did Jedi Fallen Order actually come out?
then that's a good thing. Be happy. We, we, we don't need video game conspiracy theories. Be happy about the shit that has happened, and let's not assume they're going to do something stupid later. They might, and that would suck, but let's not assume they will. Okay, so I got two bronze ores now. Um, I think I'm done in this... Hey, it's a buy, it's a, uh, buy sharp. Cool. Let's get that. <coughs> I'm kind of interested in the fact they, uh, they did this. They made these... Like, buy sharp takes forever to evolve. Um... I'm, so I'm kind of interested they made these, like, available... Look, you're allowed to vouch for EA. Like, I don't understand what the problem is. Companies, are, like, companies and people are allowed to make up for past mistakes. And you're allowed to like them. Can, can you get paralyzed, please? Please, get paralyzed. Oh, you jerk. Yeah, okay, once bitten, twice shy. But here's the thing, though. You can't allow past bad behavior to make you unwilling to accept when it's changed. Yes, be, be critical. Yes, be wary, but also be objective. Allow for the opportunity to change. Allow people to get better. The number one way in my that, that I have seen to make sure that people make past mistakes is assume they're going to make that mistake when they're not. Because if you're going to treat them, or treat someone, and this doesn't apply just to EA, this applies to anything. If you're going to treat someone as if they're doing something wrong when they're not, then what incentive do they have to do right? If you're going to treat them like they're doing wrong no matter what, they might as well do wrong because they're already being punished. But... You're not poking fingers, though. That's the thing. Like, that's that's the problem. You're not... You're not... You're not even allowing yourself to poke fingers. You're touching it with a fingertip and complaining you're losing a finger at the same time. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off of line guide put in gold Dean see if I can do a little bit more damage well it's it's not that you have a parent this is a problem that is like this is the second time someone has done this in literally two days in this chat uh and it is a small pet peeve of mine which is the only reason I'm saying anything about it um but People are doing this thing where they are accusing th accusing companies of doing things with no evidence and also assuming the worst is going to happen when there's no reason to do so. And it's a it actually bothers me. Like it's it's not it's not just you. It's the two people have done it, and it's one of those things that it's like you have to like hold people accountable for shit they actually do, not for the thing you think they're not gonna do, not for something they've done in the past, and you're applying that to the present. Wait until they actually do something. Hey, cool.
Like it's it pe people have been people have been doing this with Game Freak. So if I look at this game and keep in mind, so take a in autumn, its body uh, becomes more fatty in preparation to propose to a mate. It takes on beautiful colors. I actually don't find Sea King to be that beautiful personally. And by Sharp's add to the Pokedex, it accompanied by a large retinue of Ponyard. By Sharp keeps a keen eye on its minions, ensuring none of them even think of double crossing it. I kind of hoping we would see like a Rook or or a uh, a Queen or a King at some point. Look, I mean, so the thing is, there's nothing wrong with being wary of someone who has hurt you in the past. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, though, is that if someone does good, let them do good. Don't go and go, okay, how are you going to do bad and also disappoint me? Allow them to do good because they did good. You know... Th that that should help them get into your good graces. If you're if uh if you just assume they're going to do bad, they're probably going to continue to do bad because they have no reason to ever try to do good. You've made it clear that nothing they will do will ever uh will ever impress you or will ever be good enough. Uh okay, I guess I'm going to level up a bronzor. They might be trying to work an angle, but all you're going to do, all you're doing by assuming there's an angle is being cynical. It's that whole be the change you want to see in the world thing. You want to see the world be good, and you want people to, to think well of you, think well of people. Yes, you might get hurt from time to time doing this, but it's better to be hurt thinking well of people than to think constantly badly of people and then be proven wrong over and over and over and make them feel bad. At least in my opinion. Yeah, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Like, people have been going on and on and on about Game Freak, and I've been hearing a lot of, they lied to us about the reason the National Dex is in there. As far as I'm aware, nobody has any evidence of the fact they lied about why the National Dex isn't in here, but people are accusing them of it anyways. What did I just hear? What is that? That's a stunky. Okay, I don't need that. And then someone's like, well, we found evidence of 100 Pokemon inside of the Pokedex that we're not allowed to, you know, that are not actually in the game. Okay, and? Well, this is just evidence they're going to do microtransactions later on. No, it isn't. At all, actually. There's, that's not actually what that is evidence of. It's evidence that there's 100 other Pokemon in the Pokedex that are not currently obtainable. That doesn't mean anything. It means they're not currently in here. Like, it's, it's, it's that sort of thing. So it's you're you're treating something. If you treat someone like a criminal, they're more likely to be a criminal because they have nothing to lose. We don't want to do that. Treat them like heroes when they do well, and if they do bad, God, that sucks. Ah, uh, okay. I need. Okay, you're healed up. Snorlax, let's go. People just want to be angry, like. It's become this thing as of late, and it's kind of like a. It's actually worrying, is that people are actively looking for things to be angry about, and when they don't find something, they try to make it up. Like it's incredible. I I don't understand it. People actively do not want to be happy right now, and I don't understand why. Like, so, the thing is, so take this with a grain of salt. So take what I'm saying, um, the grain of salt. Because I am a weird person. When I look at something, and I go to enjoy something. So Pokemon's like this, you know. It, it, it's basically any form of media that I, uh, that I consume. In general, I seek to overlook faults. And overlook, uh, potential bad design. Because I seek to enjoy. So I am willing to accept mistakes and bad design flaws and things like that if the whole is enjoyable. So I have I, I have books that I read that are not, you know, high art. They're, they, you know, they're, they're somewhat poorly written. They're written for, like, teenage level as opposed to adult level. But I'm willing to accept that because they're enjoyable and I'm going to have fun with it. You know, I'm willing to accept these faults because it allows me to have fun with it. 
in general, in Pokemon, while I am disappointed the National Dex isn't here, I'm seeing so many other things that are enjoyable about the game that I can overlook that. Critical hits seem to be more likely to land in this game than they used to be, which annoys the crap out of me because it means I'm getting hit with criticals when I really probably shouldn't be. It also means that I'm killing things that I'm trying to catch when I really don't want to be. That's why I'm being ultra careful about using attacks here. It's not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it's done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. Um, so stuff like that. Pokemon seem really hard to catch. A lot of us have noticed this. Like, they're a lot harder to catch in this game than they usually are. So it's one of those things that's like, okay, this is annoying. But, as I said, the game has generally been super enjoyable and fun. So I am, I am likely to overlook these small things because a lot of the rest of the game is enjoyable. I know other people are, are different about that. So I, I sit here and I'm like, wow, you're, you're actively trying to be angry about this game. And in general, I see the game being enjoyable. Well, again, it, it's it's the one it's the once bitten, twice shy thing. There's been a lot of bullshit that has happened over the past couple of years. People are, you know, people are very likely to uh, sit here and just get angry over this shit that has happened, which is understandable. But it's but they're carrying it into the future things. Nectar and pollen aren't favorite fair. You can find Cutifly hovering around Gossifleur trying to get some of the Gossifleur's pollen. Like, it, it's something that I had to learn from uh, from the game Mafia. Okay, there was a... Is this thing still over here? Yes, it is. Awesome. I had to learn from the game of Mafia. Mafia is a game of suspicion and... Uh, suspicion, debate, logic. Uh, but it's also very heavily a game of, of feelings and of hunches. And one of the problems that a lot of uh, Mafia players have to learn... And it came on, this applies to a lot of very similar games, so we can also apply this to, you know, you can apply this to, a, like, uh, games of, like, Settlers and stuff like that, is that the previous game does not affect the next game. So even if you were Mafia in a previous game, and you were a jerk, and I have really high suspicions of you, I can't carry that suspicion of you into the next game, because in next game, you might not be Mafia. And me carrying that suspicion of you just means that I'm going to accuse you of nothing for no reason, and I'm probably going to lose the game from my side. But people like to carry those feelings, so they take these negative feelings from previous games, and they're like, yeah, fu fuck them, they made one mistake, they can never for the rest of their lives ever do anything ever good again. Like, I was actually, I was, I, I was, I forget why I got on Twitter. I don't usually like Twitter, so I don't do Twitter a lot. But I was reading Twitter last night, uh, and I saw that, that apparently some reviewer of Pokemon uh, Sword actually posted a review that said, there are a lot of good things about this game, and I am scared of posting them. Because so many people are angry about this game that it's hard for people to accept that there are good things. It's ridiculous. Makes pollen puffs from pollen and nectar. The puffs effect depends on the type of ingredients and how much each one is used. But it's ridiculous. You should you should not. People are prejudging shit. You know they're they're unwilling to let their prejudices go. That's a... Okay, I don't need that. More Sneasel. Don't see anything in here I need. Nope, oh, what's that? Okay. Survival Herb. Okay, I'm going to start making my way towards the higher level areas. Okay, I already have a Garbodor. I already picked that up. Let's 
Did I have an LGM? I don't think so. I do, however, have Diggersby, so we can go ahead and skip this. Uh, I'm going to go try to pick up that Drapion. I need to pick up that Elephant thing, because it's the first time I've actually ever seen it in the wild. I want that LGM, but that LGM seems to be running from me. It's, it's kind of weird, because I'm sitting here, like, preaching about letting shit go, and I'm just not letting go of this particular, um, this particular, uh, topic. But it, it again, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of it right now, and it's just like, let it go. Like, I, I think it was very, um, there's very much this thing, I was watching, uh, I watched the new Sonic the Hedgehog um, trailer with the uh, with the redesign of Sonic, right? And uh, I didn't watch the original one because I'd heard bad things about it. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to skip the original one. But I watched the new one mostly because uh, Jim Carrey, who is one of my favorite actors, uh, it, you know, his, his part as Dr. Robotnik was they're making a bigger deal out of his part. So, um, I was like, okay, I want to see what Jim Carrey is going to be like in this game. I want to know, or in this movie, I want to know, is he going to, like, am I going to go watch the new Sonic movie in order to see Jim Carrey? That's the question. Like, I'm not going to see it to see Sonic. Am I going to go see the new Jim, uh, the new, um, Sonic movie to see Jim Carrey be Dr. Robotnik? Uh, the answer is yes. Yes, I am. Uh, but I was watching it, and I was like, man... Sonic seems pretty interesting. There's a couple of complaints I have about the writing, uh, but I like the design. I like the choices. This is pretty good. So I scroll down to the comments, and 80% of the comments in the comment section were, oh my god, did they listen to us? Oh my god, they listened to us. Oh my god, they listened to our complaints, and they made it better. This poison is potent, but it rarely sees use. This Pokemon prefers to use physical force instead, going on rampages with its car-crushing strength. <laughs> Ogre Scorpion. But, like, I'm sitting here, and I'm like, why are you surprised? This is what a company should do when it hears en masse that it's, you know, um, when it hears en masse that it's, uh, customers are upset, you know, you should expect them to make it better. Now, that's absolutely not what's happening in real life there's a lot of you know companies that are not doing right by their by their customer base you know so like i totally get that but like you should not be surprised but more importantly when the company does listen to you and give you what you want be happy and not only should you be happy but reward them you know Reward that company. The companies that the companies that do right by you, the companies that give you what you want and listen, you do well by them. You buy from them. You support them. You make it clear to them, yes, you did that thing that I wanted. Therefore, I will do uh, what you want. Uh, it digs up the ground with its trunk. It's a steel Pokemon. Okay. It copper derm Pokemon. Okay. It also very strong, being able to carry loads over five tons without any problem at all. But, you know, you reward them. You vote with your wallet. And I think that's something that, like, People have... Okay, I need to get another one of those. That's a, Okay. Just trying to see, is there anything else I want in this area? I want that LGM. You! No! Damn it! You! This fucking... Okay. Come here, you bastard! No. Come here. Come here! Like, it's this thing that I see, like, people are, people complain that, like, Madden doesn't change, that they never add new, you know, add new features, or that Call of Duty hasn't changed in years. Like, I see these complaints a lot, and I'm sitting here like, well, yes, you buy their shit constantly. You know, you, you never, <coughs> you never give them a reason to need to change, because you've made it clear you will buy it anyways. So people don't vote with their wallets. They vote yes when the company's doing what they don't want, and they vote and they don't vote no. 
but they also don't reward a company that's doing well. So I'm sitting here like you're, you're talking about EA does something good and now you're afraid. And it's like, no, don't be afraid. Go buy their shit. Tell them this is good. This Pokemon stands near a TV. Strange scenery will appear on the TV, on uh, the screen. That scenery is said to be from its home. Okay. But like, like this is something you should always do. Like always, always, always. When a company does something you like, reward them for it. Show them in their numbers that this is something they should do more of. I need another one of those elephant Pokemon. Like it's literal, it's, it's basic stuff. It's positive reinforcement. Like, you do the same thing you do with your dog. Your dog does well. You say, good boy, good girl. You pet them. You give them a treat. And it tells them, this is something I should do more of because I like this. But companies don't want treats. They want money. So give them money. This is, I want, this is good. I want more of this. I want all my customers to give me more money. That's what you do. The company has no idea. If, if you don't do that, the company doesn't know what you want. They don't, they don't look at social media. They don't care. Or they'll look at social media and, and, their, and their question is not... And they'll look at social media and they'll go, Wow, social media is really against us, but sales are still up. What happens? We don't know. Spin this. Let's get our PR people on this. Let's see if we can find a way to fix social media. If it doesn't affect their numbers, they don't see it. Yeah, reward and perpetuate good behavior. It applies at all, like, it applies everywhere. It applies to your pets, it applies to companies, it applies to people. It applies to employees. It applies to managers. Hey, it's actually happening! Oh my god, Lion Guide is evolving! Linoon, you're doing it! You're becoming mighty! Finally! We finally have an Obstagoon. <laughs> blocking Pokemon. Its voice is staggering in volume. Obstagoon has a tendency to take on a threatening posture and shout. This move is known as Obstruct. Obstagoon wants to learn Obstruct. Okay, what is Obstruct? What does it do? This move enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if it is used in succession. Direct contact harshly lowers the attacker's defense stat. So, here's the thing. I like the idea of this ability, but it's not what I'm using Obstacoon for, so we're not going to learn it. It's a cool idea, though. Okay, I have bad news, though. Well, hold on. Obstacoon, can you, can you learn... Um... I'm assuming you can. Can you learn false? Why can Obstagoon not learn false swipe? Jesus! Why can no Pokemon in this generation lose or learn false swipe? Okay. Uh, bad news though. Obstagoon is being sent to the Pokebox because I have stuff to evolve. I might pull it out later. Two sixty one, one eighty six, and one eighty seven. I mean, the grass type starter might be able to get it, but I don't have the grass type starter. Unfortunately, that is just not something I have. You see, I chose a good starter. Now, I have no idea how good that starter is. I am I am throwing shade for absolutely no reason. Uh, that doesn't actually belong there. Does this thing have three evolutions? This thing might have, like, three stages. 